I would also say that the nutrition piece is critical. And by this, it's very, very common when we get stressed, we kind of gravitate towards certain foods, um, whether it's, you know, salty carbs, sugary carbs, those kinds of things. And, and there's a place for having fun food. I'm, I'm not telling anyone not to enjoy some popcorn or uh, a little bit of ice cream. But the point is, is that we want to make sure that the foods that we're eating are actually going to providing the most benefit. So really healthy, nutrient dense, um, whole foods, you know, when I'm talking about protein, like grass fed beef, whatever your budget really allows you to do wild caught fish, um, chicken and bison and things like that, but also incorporating some healthy fats. And then when you're, when you're incorporating, uh, incorporating carbohydrates into your diet, I would suggest things like root vegetables or sweet potatoes, or even a baked potato over, um, you know, rice and pasta. I know my kids in particular can, you know, wolf down an entire pound of pasta, like it's nothing, uh, but it just doesn't fill you up. And, and for teenagers and people who are growing, probably not as much of an issue, but for those of us that are adults, I would recommend, you know, getting your carbs from the things that I've mentioned, but also low glycemic berries. You know, we stocked up on a lot of frozen organic berries um, mm. because we knew that we would want those things, but they're really hard to keep fresh in the refrigerator because they spoil really fast because they're organic. Um, but really just being mindful about the way you're eating and, and trying to determine like, am I bored? Is that why I'm craving something? Or would I be better served by going for a walk? Or do I just need to indulge a small amount of dark chocolate? or something, not so that you're feeling deprived, but don't derail all the hard work that you're doing throughout the year. And we know that, you know, a lot of sugary foods can impact immunity in a negative way. So when you're planning your menus, when you're looking at the foods that you're going to be incorporating into your life, I always say lots of color. So brightly pigmented foods. Um, there's a lot of phytonutrients, which is a fancy way of saying there are chemicals in, you know, bright red peppers, lots of vitamin C, um, eggplants. I mean, just brightly pigmented foods are going to give your body lots of nutrients that are going to be very supportive. And I always get asked what specifically do we want to be ensuring we're getting enough of. And I always say vitamin C rich foods. So looking at, you know, citrus fruits are great, great, easy, lower glycemic index, lower sugar fruit option, whether it's lemons or limes or clementines, like clementines this time of the year are amazing. And we are going through a lot of them. Um, because they're so sweet and so satiating, but also thinking about things that are vitamin D rich, meaning getting out in sunlight is going to be helpful for immunity. Um, you know, those fatty fishes, it doesn't necessarily have to be fresh tuna. You can do pole caught tuna. Uh, you can do sardines. I have a really great sardine recipe if anyone's interested. You know, vitamin D rich foods like some of the seeds and nuts as well, but just really thinking deliberately about it doesn't have to be that you are sitting down and, and obsessing over this, but just making sure that you're getting some of these foods, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc. Um, zinc is found in shellfish, um, lots and lots of options that can be helpful. And 